I said it was fairly well known that Benoit was uh, taking steroids, you know. I don't think it was any secret, although maybe since then it's become. But um, I said, and uh, so that was kind of an acknowledged thing. And then I said, uh, you know, I, I knew Chris pretty well and he was a real nice kid and all like that, but for him to have allegedly strangled his wife and his kid and all like that, he must have been delusional. Which is, you know, the truth, I would think. But uh, that was kind of uh, morphed into, like, I didn't say anything good about him. I just called him a delusional juice freak. And uh, so it sort of bothered me because I had a lot of respect for Benoit. And I, I don't profess to have any idea what possessed him to uh, do what he did, you know. But, uh, you know, I believe he was. Uh, uh, steroids may have played a role and maybe some of the other drugs that we talked about, you know, uppers or downers and that kind of thing, but uh, I still had high regard for Benoit, but at the same time, you know, he probably was delusional and, you know, if a steroid abuser is a juice freak, then I guess uh, it could be construed as such, but I certainly wasn't trying to put him down or and it was a sad, tragic outcome, as we all know, you know. And, um, I suppose it's, to some degree, the wrestlers need to police themselves a bit, but um, I would think if they wanted to seriously get rid of drugs and steroids and all that, they could do it quite quickly, just by putting less emphasis on, you know, guys pushing guys who have the big massive bodies and ne can't necessarily work. Um, if they're that stringent and uh, as they claim they are, then they should test everyone every damn night. And, uh, you know, uh, if they're suspending guys and uh, all like that for filling a, you know, the message should get out pretty damn quick. And, uh, but I don't, just from a casual perspective, it looks like there's as many uh, steroid abusers now as ever. You know, maybe I'm <laughs> maybe uh, out to lunch there or something, but I think there's just as many guys that are probably on the gas as ever, you know, and, uh, and it seems to be all kinds of guys still dropping dead not long after they've finished their careers, you know, and I'm not sure what like the Umagas and the Tests and um, Lance Cates and all like that, you know. And, but, um, I think that uh, if they wanted to do away with that, uh, I think they could certainly do more than, you know, I'm sure they uh, have to argue strenuously that I don't know what the hell I'm talking about or I'm out to lunch or full of shit or whatever, you know.